G'day gang, Danny. How's it going, folks? We're back in the Lord of the Rings online after a little break. Ready to try out the Mines of Moria, I believe. <laughs> I think that's what we're doing. I'll talk to Elrond and hope for the best. Bulwark of the West. Dark days are coming. Welcome, Dan. I am pleased to see you well. We must be thankful for every journey that ends in safety, for these are dangerous times, and the shadows grow ever long outside Rivendell. The small company will soon be setting forth on a mission of great secrecy to combat this growing dark. I am loath to speak in detail of their errand, but know that it will do great hurt to the enemies of this age if they succeed. The fate of the race of men concerns you closely, Dan, and I know that you are trustworthy. Two doughty men prepare to set forth on this perilous journey. Lend them your assistance as they prepare to leave. I speak of Aragorn, son of Arathorn, and Boromir of Gondor. Look for them in one of the guest rooms along the road that winds up the southern slope of the Vale of Imladris. Right, okay. So, let's go. Let's just go and see Boromir and Aragorn, shall we? Uh, folks, if you're very new to this and you're like, whoa, hang on, hang on, whoa, what's going on? Why are you going to the, the mines of Moria? What about all the rest of it? Well, I did spend several years playing this game from the beginning. And there is a Lord of the Rings Online series here. I've just simply, we came to an end. We came to an end in the, uh, the main story. So I've stopped that series there and we've now continuing on into the... This new, or not new, I don't know how many years old this expansion is. Uh, but that's where we're up to currently. So it's a new series, The Mines of Moria. So you'll probably find in the, up the top there'll probably be a card or at the end of this video or somewhere, somewhere maybe in the description. I'll put a link to the original series. If you do happen to want to watch 3,000 episodes in, uh, in Lord of the Rings Online. <laughs> Now, having said all that, I gotta say, I'm still very new to Lord of the Rings Online. I have to say, everything that you've seen, just about, uh, has been played on YouTube. I have done a few live streams here and there, but mostly it's uh, all in the recordings. So, again, if you ever feel like you have some input, some, some tips, player tips, you know, whether it's good for me right now or if it's good for somebody else watching this uh, please feel free to share in the comments I'm sure somebody will find value in it and I certainly appreciate the uh, the chit chat on the videos all right the guest rooms guest rooms December the 24th hey Legolas what's happening fella Still looking in that direction? Fair enough. Gimli, still looking at the packs? Alright. Greetings. Oh, that's a little bit too close. Aragorn. Forward three ways. Elrond has entrusted you with knowledge of our errand, Game Audio Dan. Well, I am glad. I go with Boromir to his city of Minas Tirith, a journey that lies along that of the rest of the company for many leagues, and yet the route is to take is still undecided. I see two ways for the company to take. We might take, make, make for the Red Horn Gate, the pass over the mountains that descends into Dimril Dale, where lie the still waters of the Miramir, or we might head for the Gap of Rohan, by which Boromir came north. There are difficulties associated with each way, but one of these two must prove the better route. I will continue poring over the maps, Dan. Will you speak with Gandalf about these two routes? I believe he is in Bilbo's room on the first floor of the House of Elrond. I was just there, buddy. Stay a moment. Hey, borrow me. It does my heart good to see a man such as you, Dan. Aragorn there seems a strong man, but he seems to prize the friendship of elves over that of his own kind. So many elves in this place. Every hour we spend in this hidden valley prolongs the struggle of Gondor. How many men will fall in its defense ere we depart? My sword arm itches for battle, and my horn longs to be sounded. You understand the need we have for haste, Dan. You are not like these others. 
who live for such a long span that the concerns of the present must seem trivial or meaningless, but it is not so. Climb the winding road to the south entrance to the valley and ask the guards there if they have need of my vigilance. I will spend the time until we depart guarding the borders if they have need of my strength. Okay. So on one quest, we need to go back to where we came from, essentially. And Gandalf shall be there. And the other one is we need to go... Uh, oh, where is it? Oh no, it's pointing me back there because that's where we're going to come back. Ugh. So just near where the Troll Shores is. Is that right? Troll Shores? Just on the exit. Okay, so we might as well do that first. I do have fast traveling ways to get back. I know I do. I promise you I do. Here we go. Guide to River Guide to Rivendell. So we've got a quick way of getting back. After we ascend up this huge path. I'll just move that over there. So how's things in Lord of the Rings Online going anyway? I noticed when I logged in there was different title music. Uh, there was different- I had to re-specialize, so I chose- whoops. There you are, J. Uh, so it's just like, hidden behind my microphone. Uh, so I chose a little bit of Bowmaster, Critical Eye, and Fast Straw, and I went into Huntsman fairly deep like usual. Uh, I've got two in Volley, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this performs. Almost there. Got to wind all the way up. So we're obviously not in Moria yet. We're at Rivendell. In the land of elves. Elves everywhere! Which is where our journey pretty much ended. Rivendell Sentinel, here we go. Do you have any need of a Boromir? We have things here at the entrance to the valley well in hand, Dan. I appreciate the intention of our visitor from the south, but we have no need of his assistance. Imladris has been saved from attack for long years before either he or you walked in Eriador. Thank him for the offer, but tell him his concern is misplaced. The elves can protect Imladris. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Boromir. Oh! The person riding past. Um, I might just go... Well, actually, maybe we should go back there, because I don't know what he's going to say next. He might go, oh, go talk to... I'll go talk to Gandalf. Ah, just get out of here and talk to Gandalf, will ya? Alright, so we'll head back down. Right, back to Boromir, ready to report in. How can I be of service? What did you say, Dan? The elves have turned down my offer of aid. Well, this is what I expected. Though it grieves me to see it so clearly, the elves believe they have no need for us, Dan. They may change their opinion if Gondor falls and change it quickly. Do they not see that our people are their last real defense? Have they forgotten the great deeds of our people that have made this land safe? Oh, we must remind them, my friend. Go to the Hall of Fire in the House of Elrond and remind some of the elf singers there of the great deeds of our people. Of the Gondorian cavalry, perhaps, and of Elendil and his sons. They will not then undervalue the contributions of our people. Okay. What happened? Oh, there we go. Okay, a little bit of a delay. Alright, back in the last homely house. Let's, uh, find... So the elf maiden... Elf maidens? Elf singers? The Elf Singers in the Hall of Fire. Here we go. Remind us of the deeds of men. Oh, Elf Singer. At Boromir's urging, you recite the tale of Melendil and his sons, and the strength they brought to bear in the Battle of Dagor Lad, 
at the Black Gate of Black Gate of Mordor. I know this tale, but I know it by another name. For in Imledris it is called the Song of the Last Alliance, and involves more characters, not just Elendil the Tall, but Gilgalad our King and Marcel Rond, and Cirdan the Shipwright. But you have reminded me of this, and I urge you not to forget it yourself. Dan, neither elves alone nor men alone could have withstood the power of the enemy at the Siege of Mordor. Okay. Yep, we all did it together. I get it. Let's go talk to this other elf singer. At Boromir's urging, you recite the tale of the ride of Gondorian cavalry that pursued the Witch King from Fornost, where the forces of Angmar were rooted. A good tale, and the deeds of Prince Ernur were worthy of remembrance, as are those of many strong men besides. But your tale has ended before Ernur's horse gave way in terror of the Witch King. Were it not for the arrival of the elf lord Glorfindel, things may have gone ill for the captain of Gondor that day. But your point is clear. Against the great evils of the Shadow, elves and men must stand together. It is a lesson gladly remembered. That's right, that's a good that's a good one. Borrow me, you gotta be happy with that. Alright, now let's go see Gandalf. Gandalf. Hey Bilbo, I knew exactly where I was going. Hey Frodo, what's happening, matey? Gandalf. Why do you disturb me? Two ways, you say? What are the two ways over the mountains that Aragorn proposes? The passage of the mountains could be difficult, and the Red Horn Gate is very high up, and in winter the heights may be treacherous. I do not believe the Gap of Rohan will be open to us. That way would bring the company too close to Isengard, and Aragorn will understand why we must not go that way. But there is a third way, through the mountains. I will not speak of it here, but Aragorn will know the way of which I speak. Return to him with my misgivings. Aragorn, mate, I'm almost as tall as you. Alright, let's go. What are you doing, Samwise Gamgee? What's he doing? What's he doing? He's probably making bread. Probably cooking up some taters. Okay, so we will now go... Back to Aragorn and Boromir. Okay, let's have a chat, Aragorn. Greetings. I do know of this third way, and Gandalf knows too that I am low to bring the company through the mountains by that road. It is a dark way and dangerous. I will say no more of it now, but I hope it will not come to that. My heart tells me that the Red Horn Gate is safest for our purposes. Thank you, Dan. You have done me a service. Hey, Boromir. What can I do for you? Well, you have eased my mind, Dan. Though it seems we struggle alone, it is not so. That is why we fight on. Not just for our own people, but for all peoples. The strength of men. Talk to Elrond in Rivendell. Alright, back to... You have aided Boromir with his preparations. Okay. Back to Elrond. And as we ride back to the last homely house uh, and talk to Elrond, I should, I just realized I hadn't really introduced myself because a lot of the times I make these series just sort of back to back to back to back. But I guess this is a new series in a way. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm from Australia. I mostly play MMORPGs here on the channel, and we've gone through, we played, we played a fair share of them over the years. I like to read quests, as you have already seen. Essentially, everything you've seen from me right now up until this point, that's what I do. I play games like that. We do a lot of questing. A lot of, uh, a lot of solo play, I'd say. Occasionally we do some dungeons and so on. But it's mostly the story side of these games that not everybody, you know, spends time listening to all the quests, so it's just something that I like to do. Alright, let's chat Elrond. But Hope if that's is not in vain. If that's something you're into, maybe check out some of the other videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, 
And, uh, welcome, welcome aboard. Alright. Thank you for helping Aragorn and Boromir with their preparations, Dan. The fate of all your people is bound to the success of the mission they must undertake. Hope is not in vain. The Fellowship departs. The time has come for the company to depart on their errand of secrecy, Dan. As you have been of some assistance with the preparations, you may join the members of my household as we see them on their way. Tell me when you are ready to wish them well. I'm ready. Sir Elrond. This is a solo quest. Cannot be completed with a fellowship. Travel now. The household of Elrond Half-Elven gather to bid farewell to nine brave adventurers entrusted with a secret task which could mean the salvation or doom of the earth. Oh, we got... I, Gandalf the Grey, must lead them along dark roads. Gandalf, that was you the whole time. We got Legolas over here, we got Samwise Gamgee, we got Bill the Pony, Meriadoc, Brandy Buck, or Merry, and Perrigan Took. Or Pippin. We got, uh, we got Aragorn the Yes. And Gimli's over there, and Boromir's waiting. Okay. Where's Gandalf? I'm sure he'll arrive precisely when he means to. And we got Bilbo here, of course. Frodo. Everything seems to be ready, Dan, and we're about to leave. Hopefully, I will see you again once this is all done with. You take care of yourself, Frodo. Adventuring is dangerous business. It is. But look at all the help I'll have. You're right, Frodo. You can't go wrong with a took, a brandy buck, and a ganji. Solid hobbits all. Alright, they said their piece. Samwise. Samwise, you dunderhead! You've gone and forgotten to bring a bit of rope with you! I knew there was something you had to forget, forgot! Bill here will have too much to carry as it is, and I've lined the load as much as I can. You're in for it now, same as we are, Bill. Got to look after each other, we do. And Bill says, nay. Uh, Aragorn. Legolas, he doesn't even want to talk to us. Unbelievable. Keep an eye upon these lands while we're away, my friend. Our errand is a dangerous one, but there will be a danger behind us too. And my footsteps will be easier if I know that Dan remains behind to protect against them. My own journey will carry me far from here. And Duriel will go to Minas Tirith, but my road follows that of the company for many leagues. Right, Aragorn. Merry. Oh, this is it, Dan. Wish us luck, and we'll be sure to come through, okay? Leastways, we'll make sure to lend Frodo all the help we can and do whatever Gandalf needs us to do. We'll see you when we get back, and that's a promise. Come on, Pip. It's almost time to go. Oh, Pip's up. I'm ready. I was just saving my energy, Merry. All right, Boromir. If it were up to me, I would ask you to come with us, Dan. The halflings are well, too well represented. Why should the race of men have so few within the company? So begins a new journey. Let us go forth boldly, I say, rather than skulking from shadow to shadow, and let the enemy quail at our coming. Are we ready at last to leave? I'll be glad to put this waiting behind us. Always do I wind my horn at setting forth. Let the enemy quake at its call. That was ill done, Boromir. The strength of the company's errand is in its secrecy. Why should we creep in the darkness and in fear? We are not thieves. Yet we must live like thieves, Boromir, or risk detection.
Come here, Dan. The number of the company has been chosen, Dan. And any more would threaten the success of its mission. You have business remaining in area at all, brave man. Defend its people from the lengthening shadows. If the errand of this company fails, Eriador will have need of heroes before the final darkness. You have done your part, Dan. This burden is for others to bear. The company is setting out on the quest of Mount Doom. I ask no oath or bond of you. Save Frodo alone. You go with him as free companions. Any who abandon Frodo will answer to my axe. A fool vows to walk any road when he knows not where it winds, Gimli. Such a vow might lend the full courage to strengthen his heart, if strength is needed. Rely instead upon each other and take what counsels you can. Go now, and with the blessings of all free folk, farewell. Come on, Bill. Legolas didn't say a word. Farewell, sweet Imladris. You will stay always in my memory. Maybe that was... Maybe that was Legolas. Merry? What is it, Pippin? I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, always hungry. Second breakfast, third breakfast, or like fourth dinner or something. All right, Elrond. It is done, and they are beyond my aid. For all of my wisdom, I cannot see the end of their road. May they come to it in safety and return to Rivendell in victory. And so the company departs. May the stars shine upon their road's end. Let us go back inside, Dan. There is nothing more we can do for them. The company must now rely upon their own strength and wisdom. A strange fate brings you hither. It is done, Dan. All our hopes now rest upon the nine members of the company. Nine walkers to stand against the nine riders of the enemy. May they come to no harm and return in safety, their task completed. There is nothing we can do now for them. We must stand tall against the shadow and keep its attention focused upon us, far away from those who can do it the greatest harm. That is our task now, Dan. Do you accept? I do. For what is now complete.